Hello, in this session we will talk about table aliases. This is Hassan Mir from Zero2ProTraining.com. I'm connected to SAP HANA Studio. So before we move forward with our study of joins, it's worth learning at this point how we can call tables by their nicknames instead of using the full table name in the where clause and also in the select column list. For example, take a look at this select statement. Here we are selecting first name from a student table and name from the team table. So how, how would system know that system should look for F name column in the student table and name column in team table? System doesn't know. It's by chance that F name only exists in a student and name column only exists in team table. That's why we are not getting error message. So if I put a column here that exists in both the tables, then we will have an error message. So system will expect us to fully qualify the column name. So that is exactly why I am fully qualifying this ID column here by the table name. Table name dot column name is called fully qualifying the column name because now system knows from which table I want this column. But this is not really using nicknames of the table. I'm using the full table name. Sometimes table name could be as long as you know 30 characters. So it's not really practical to specify the table name everywhere you're using the column from that table and that column exists in multiple tables. So there is a shortcut and the shortcut is you give a nickname to each table. So for example I can call student table A and team table B. So all I have to do is say B dot ID meaning ID column from table B which is actually team table and here I can say B dot ID as well. So now system knows from which call which from which table ID column I'm referring to. Keep in mind that if you are using aliases meaning the nicknames here then you can't really use the full table name. So we have given alias A to table student so I can't use a student now okay I will get an error message if I run this statement so if I replace a student with A I should be fine so keep in mind that uh, these aliases could be used in the where clause as well as in the select statement uh, column list as well as in the order by clause that we will look into later on in the group by clause so wherever you are using the column name alias could be used. So alias could be used with those columns as well on which alias is not required because F name is there only in a student table so system knows where to get this column from and name column only exists in one table, team table. So here alias is or in other words full qualification is not required as such but still you can put it as a good practice. 